This is a Kininger mantel clock, probably made in the 1960s. It has an earlier movement with a serial number, but I couldn't determine when it was made. It has beam bam striking on three chime rods. It has a very deep and lovely sound that can be heard all over the house. This is the key that the clock came with. It might be original, but I don't really know. The case is in good shape. It has some chips at the corners. All right, let's see the movement. Here is the back side of the clock. And this is the movement viewed from the back. If you're wondering why is this regulation arm so far away from the normal range here, this clock goes very very fast and if it's regulated to go as slow as it can like this uh, it's still gaining about three or four hours a week and that's why I intend to sell this clock I can't regulate it it might be magnetized but I don't know how did it get magnetized I've seen this type of linkage between the hammers and this lifting arm on some FMS Malte clocks, or just Malte, sorry. To silence this clock there are two different ways. You can either put this thing over the hammers, or there's an arm on top of the case that locks the fly, and if I activate it, Nothing happens, but if I lift it... The clock starts striking again. It also has this little cam in there that locks the chime rods in place if the clock is transported somewhere hold on yep just like this now the chime rods are locked and they can be unlocked by turning that again like this now i'm going to try to show the front but i'm not sure if i can get the movement out because the hand knot is screwed in so tightly that I can't get it out without bending the minute hand. So I'm going to try it. Well, the movement is now out of the case. It was easier than I thought to get that hand knot out because apparently I was intentionally pulling that minute hand when I was first trying to unscrew that, but okay, it's safe now. You can see, no harm was done. And also this movement had a ton of screws, just like the Hermley clock. It's the first time I see the front of this. And you can see the rack and snail striking system. Here's the locking thing for the chime rods and the hammers mounted here on this post. It has two 8-day mainsprings also. 
only struck one. Alright, never mind. We'll set it backwards. Also, this is safe to set backwards because it has a modernized movement. It reckons nail striking. I like this. This thing is extremely heavy. Here's the time side. You can see in there the connection between the platform escapement and the movement. Inside the case there's nothing to see. I don't know why on every mantle clock there are always parts here on the front where the holes are. Where the I don't know how to call it veneer or something like that is just stripped off. But all right. Although this clock is situated just behind the Hermley clock, it still can be seen. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave a like and uh, see you next time.